What's up, fishing freaks? Welcome back to another episode of Pristine Fishing. Today, we are unboxing mystery tackle boxes. Yeah, I know I went a little overboard, but you know what? That's just how I roll, all right? I love tackle, I love fishing, I love bass fishing, okay? And uh, before we get started today, I just wanted to thank each and every one of you guys. Thank you for joining the channel. Please make sure to like, subscribe, turn post notifications on, guys, because I got some epic content coming up. But without further ado, let's get into this unboxing because I am stoked for it. So this right here, we're going to start out with one at a time because I want to make this last. So let's get some of these out of the way, guys, so we have some room for the tackle. All right, so we are starting out with box number 64 from Mystery Tackle Box. So they're numbered, guys, so you don't get the same one over. Let's get this thing opened up. All right, guys. Whoo! What do we have? What do we have? Here's the index card for all the baits. And it's got a nice little tips and trick pamphlet here. So I'll make sure to read that after I get all these baits unboxed. First up on this list, we got Vexen Deep Thud Series Fat Boy Crankbait. Look at that thing. That is gorgeous. Wow. That's going to catch some giants. I know exactly where I want to throw this. And it's half ounce. All right, guys. Next bait that we got going on here is, oh, the Guggen Squad Hummer. Dude, these buzz baits are amazing. All right. I actually love throwing these. Got the little MTB sticker. Some sticky EWG hooks. Actually, I want to open these up, guys. I want to see what these look like. All right, guys. So this is what one of the hooks look like. So I would use this with a plastic worm, uh, like a ribbon tail or like a Senko. That's a really nice hook, guys. And uh, they're three odds, so that'll work perfectly. Love it. Oh, and they sent baits to go with it. So this will pair up perfectly with these big bite baits. Let's see what these are called. Swimming craw. Let's see what they look like. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's gonna work really good. All right, and last but not least guys, we got the Biospawn Exopod. These things look really good. This is the index card with all the baits on them, guys. So whenever you get one of these, you can see exactly what you got and the names for them. And then also it comes with this nice tips and trick tackle pamphlet. So in this one, it tells you how to tie a polymer knot, spinning versus casting, why, when, and where. And then uh, it's got some nice little teasers on here, like where do anglers poop? No, I'm not making that up. Back at the dock. This is an obvious one. There are porta potties sometimes even fully attended public restrooms. This is the most pleasant place to poop. You'll find just about any lake. Wow, that's just great information, guys. I'll make sure to find a porta potty next time I go to the bathroom on a lake. In your bait bucket, very smart. If you guys are fishing with live bait, just dump that live bait out because then you can use it as a toilet. Perfect. In the trees, pull up on a bank and head into nature to answer nature's call. Pro tip. No TP, try using leaf or your sock. There's a few more on here, but yeah, that's pretty fun. I like that they do this. You always get a laugh out of them. I'm gonna use all of these guys. We're gonna come up with some videos here in the future where I'm gonna do some unboxings and then also fish them. All right guys, box number two, or should I say box number 72. Another MTB sticker. All right, that works. I'll put this one on my table. So we got the bait index card, guys. I'm gonna keep that next to me here. Another tips and tricks. So guys, I just realized I got two of the same boxes. That's my mistake. But um, I got some different colors in the baits that I could throw, as you can see. Same thing, I got that crankbait here. Except this one, I think, if I'm not mistaken, 
has a, has a rounded bill on it, and this one has a square bill. Yeah, so the first bait's actually different than the first bait in the other box. This one's a square bill right here, and then this one's actually just a little spoon bill that I will probably use about five times in the next year because they're not really my confidence baits, guys. I do have a deep lake that I can fish these at, so I'll try them out, but definitely more excited about the crankbait. Just being honest, guys. And this is called the Vex and Burns Stone Troller. It is a spoonbill crankbait. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited to use this half ounce. I'm gonna use this at my friend's private pond. Actually, the last video you guys saw, this would work perfectly at. All right, so last time I got those three out wide gap hooks. Those are the stickies by Mystery Tackle Box themselves. These are the wide gap four out hooks by Ego Club. So a little bit different. This is gonna be for a little bit bigger worms throw these all the time and then next we got Carl's amazing baits this is this is kind of like a craw as well and what is this called the kicker craw that's a really good color I'm really excited about this next one so we got the lifted jigs SLM swim jig Wow I love me some swim jigs look at that tell me that's not gonna slam and as you guys can see you thread the bait up on the hook so that's gonna work perfectly. I'm really excited to try this one out. I love the color on it. And then for this box, last but not least, we got the Big Bites Baits Creature Bait. It is in Green Pumpkin. I'm excited to throw all of these so far. Box number 57. Third MTB sticker. So first up guys, we got the Carl's Amazing Baits Thwacker. It's a lipless crankbait guys. Check that out. It's got a good sound to it. That's a good color too. So for those of you who don't know, darker colors tend to absolutely kill it in Florida. This is a blue, purple, and yellow. So. This perfectly mimics a lot of the fish down here. We got some tropical fish, guys. This is gonna kill it. This would even imitate like the shad that are in the lakes. So, it's a good bait. Up next, we got the 10,000 fish saw crop. I actually just bought these. They looked really nice in stores, so I bought them. Now I got two packs, same color as well. Black and blue is one of the mains that I throw. I like how they package them too. They package them up nice and neat so they don't get all kitty wampus in there and you throw it and it looks all weird. We don't like that. Plus they smell super saucy. Wow. Whoo, I'd eat that. And then probably die. That looks super awesome, especially on the end of like, um, you cut it down, put it on a jig or flipping. This would be perfect for. So many applications you can use this for. Up next, we got the Game Changers Lures Trash Master. And uh, I love jigs. So this is a 3 8 ounce. Perfect. Totally weedless design. Let's see. Heavy cover mini skirt jig. Yeah, this is really compact, guys. I love how compact this jig looks. Very curious. Oh, yeah. It's already pre-cut, too. A lot of jigs, guys, when you get them, they're not pre-cut, and this saves you a lot of time. This is going to save you a lot of baits. It's got a little bait keeper on it. You thread it up on the bait keeper, and then you put it weedless on the hook. So you got less tear, and it's going to last a lot longer. You're going to get a lot more catches out of one bait. But that's a really nice color, guys. You got green pumpkin and blue. Up next, we also have another pack of Big Bite Baits Swimming Craw. That's the third pack. And then I'm actually excited for this last one, guys. We got the Biospawn Exo Stick. I love these, guys. I haven't thrown these in a minute. So it's a green pumpkin with green flake, and then on the back side, it's got purple in it. And it's like translucent. Last but not least, we got box number 48. First up, Yozuri Crystal Minnow. So this is the bait here. It's a nice gold and black. Next, we got another pack of Biospawn Exo Sticks. I'm gonna need as many as I can get because I'm gonna go through these things like crazy. 
So um, yeah, this one's actually in a green pumpkin color. And then we got a hard hat diesel jig in an Okeechobee craw color with a four out hook. We got the Eagle Claw assortment jig pack. It's the Plano pack. So it's got all types of different bass hooks in here. One's for live bait. We got worm hooks. There we go. All right guys, and the last bait from the four mystery tackle boxes that I just opened is Carl's Amazing Baits Kicker Craw. It's a really nice black and blue. It's gonna be a really nice trailer for like a jig or flipping. It's gonna be really nice for flipping. I like how Carl's baits, a lot of them, they'll have them translucent so you can see right through them. All right, well, now that that's over guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know in the comments section below if you guys want me to do more like this. This is my first one, so I just wanna know what your feedback is. Anyways guys, stay tuned for the next video. I'm gonna be posting, like I said, from Tuesdays and Thursdays. I'm trying to get out as much content as I possibly can, build this channel, see where it goes, and just have fun with it. But yeah guys, that's all I got for you today. Stay tuned for the next video, guys. I got some epic content planned for the future, and um, I'm out of here.